bitches welcome to this <laughs> today's vlog um we are sitting here in my car like always what's new um and today we're gonna take you on a little adventure to uh show you kind of the differences between latin um supermarkets and non-latin supermarkets um we chose one of the most known and one of the most visited by latinos and it's called northgate uh, it has two names. One unofficial is called Gonzalez, um, and that's due to the uh, owner's last name. So the owner and his dad, so Miguel Gonzalez Jr. and Miguel Gonzalez Sr., both founded Northgate Market. Um, they are they came from Mexico, like every like the American dream, um, from Jalisco from Jalisco, Mexico, and uh, they opened their very first Northgate Market on Anaheim, at, on Anaheim Boulevard. It was tiny. In and Anaheim? In Anaheim, <laughs> which is Orange County. Um, and uh, now they have over 38 um, chains. It's a family-owned business, so now they have over 38 uh, supermarkets in the LA County, Orange County, and San Diego. Which is really cool. It's California only, so this is one of the things that solely belong to California. Um, the way it happens is that California is split into many counties. It's not just Los Angeles. You don't go into California, you just come into LA. LA is its own county and it has little cities around it, such as Orange County, um, things like that. So that is California only. So if you ever decide to come and visit California and you want to see where kind of the majority of Latino, the, the Latino community come and shop for their awesome food and their unique kind of um, recipes that they come for. This is one of the uh, the supermarkets that we come to, which is Northgate. Others include El Superior. Um, it used to be another chain that recently, unfortunately, closed called El Tapatio. Um, Vallarta. Vallarta uh, is also another one, which is named after a beach in uh, Guadalajara, Jalisco. Yes, Puerto Vallarta. Um, anyway, so we're gonna give you a little tour around Northgate while while we buy some stuff to eat because we hungry. Um, and yeah, so um, let's go and check it out if you want to come ever, like and visit whenever you you visit LA or anywhere really in California. Oh, oh, the three counties that I mentioned, we can go and show you around and see what you can buy. First thing you need to know is that you kind of sometimes need to know a little bit of Spanish before you come in here because most of the announcements that they make here are a lot of the times made in Spanish. So yeah, so we have there, pan calientito, pasteleria, which means like that's where they bake all the cakes. We have little nice roses over here. Beer because we're Latin and we like to drink. <laughs> and as you can hear from the music, it's already a good feel. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that pan dulce. Oh my god. So this brand right here is um, a lot of the brands where they have a lot of our unique um, things from uh, like that we use to, to cook in, in Latin cultures. So we have um, corn husks that we use to make tamales. We have tamarindo over here which most of our, our candy um, like candy have tamarindo. This is what tamarindo looks like. Um, Right here we have um, a, a plant called Jamaica, which we make ju we make water out of that natural water, like Jamaica water. Um, yeah, so we have um, we have uh, these like big ass chiles that we used to make like mole. We used to make sauces, a lot of the stuff here. We have more chile right over here. These are really 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 hot, and then you can actually pick them up from here too. They're really, really fresh. It's awesome. It smells intense. It smells real intense. Um, these are the. This is basically the main wall where we where we get all of our supplies to make Hot. traditional you plates. This right here is the the scariest thing I've ever seen. This is really? called a chamoy, a chayote. Oh, I think my grandpa. So squash. Those. Yeah, chayote. That's what it looks like, and we love eating those. They're really good. They're really sweet. But look at look at all those that? spikes. Dragon, Dragon fruit. fruit. I've never seen that. Oh, and then right here we have um, it's called a uh, ale. No, that's how it's called in English, but um, it's called a. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but this is what they like from the plant that makes tequila. Oh, it's coconut. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, and the also the also famous habanero chile the hottest chile in latin america i think and then we have right here nopales i'm not gonna touch those because let's still have this this the like thorns on them okay everything is in spanish up top and then in english it's the bottom so like for example up there it says huevos frescos which basically means fresh eggs <laughs> oh my god this is where we at these are all Mexican drinks. This is Me oh, oh my god, those are really really good. These are basically like really famous in Mexico too. They're called bo Boing and uh, they come in different flavors. It's like carritos but like juice really? like juice. Yeah. So these are all and this right here is mineral water. This is my dad's like my favorite my dad's favorite mineral water. Ooh, Topo Chico. Arizona. It's really good for your stomach. Yeah. We drink um we drink aloe vera or <laughs> juice. Because we crazy. <laughs> Come to one of my favorite parts. Look at what she found. Oh, these your were all meal. over my this elementary one. school. This, you this buy one. these in the vending machine. This one? Me too. That's how you know you came from the ghetto. <laughs> Look at all these. Oh my god, we love these. So these are the churritos. These are like a like a more kid version of the ones that we got in Echo Park. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, chicharrón, which is food deep fried. I think sells the one we get from. from yeah, Echo. chicharrón is like deep fried pig skin. <clears throat> We had churritos right over here, which are oh my god, they're called charritos. All right. All right. Oh wait, 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 look! You can't come to a Hispanic market and not have religious oh icons. No, that is La Muerte, Santa Muerte. Oh, and I'm gonna talk one. about La Santa Muerte because that's an, a very interesting part of Mexican tradition. It's kind of and look at our trapos. This is what we use to clean the kitchen all my life. Yeah. This is what we used to put sauce in, tortillas. This is where we put our tortillas in. Um, where else? Oh, <laughs> little shell shakers. I used to grow up with. This right here is you used to make um, um, ch um, ch chocolate. Yeah, hot, cho uh, hot chocolate. Chocolate mm -hmm. de My grandma gave one of these. These to scrub pants. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Lemon squeezers. Oh my god. Ceram like metal lemon squeezers. Yeah, I might, might I might have. And right over here are also famous um uh pudding board? No 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 um oh, molcajetes. Mol molcajetes. Where we make this is originally what we make sauce in. Like and, chiles. And, and uh guacamole, no? And guac. Yes. Alright, moving on. <laughs> you can't you can't be Latino and not have these plates. Look, the Isle of Corn Flay. Because everything to your grandma, no matter what mark of cereal it was, it was always cornflakes. It didn't matter if it was Cheerios, she would still call it cornflakes. No. Uh, chiles. Oh, this is what I'm talking North Suiza. This is what we used to season our uh, caldo de pollo. All of our soups, all of our soups, we use these to season. Look at the the way it's decorated. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> all of it. All of our flags. Um, this is what we use to, to to like basically like season all of our soups. Yeah. And then right here is a really famous sauce in Mexico called Maggi. Mm. They eat it with the weirdest shit. I'm serious. I know, like I, I if we if your mom ever lets you go to Mexico, I need to take you. They eat it with the weirdest shit. This right here is for Puerto Ricans. They use this brand so much. Goya, mm -hmm. so purely like Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. Y'all ever try gantitos? It's delicious. I like it. Okay. These are all the like cookies that I used to eat. I have gantitos cookies, canelitas. Oh my god, my childhood. All right here. I hated that. Those right here. Mm. Then again, I hate. I hate marshmallows. So. Oh my Get god, thrifty. paletas mexicano. I love these things. The best paleta mexicana that you could ever taste, limon. This mark right here, oh my god, la michoacana. I freaking love their paletas, man. Oh my god, best ice cream ever. I'm actually really excited, can you tell? Okay, so these right here are called mangoneadas. Mangoneadas are made out of real mango juice, right here. Real mango juice and like real mango bits. And they're mixed with a sauce, or uh, like a spicy soury sauce that we call chamoy and we mix it in there we freeze it we put a stick in it and we eat it like popsicles mangoneadas you order what you want you order what size you want right over here and they give it to you and look all the all the oh my god all the sauces that we have um, what is it gonna work 
And now we have all the chicken. We have carnitas. Okay. We have, um, you, you explain it. Oh, what? Uh, what do you want? Here, grab. This right here is pork, I think. Okay. Yes. I carnitas de puerco right here. Two pounds chicken. Of chicharron. Yeah. Con carne. Six. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Leftovers are nice. Oh, where's the family one? You want that? Rice and beans? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they don't have papas here. Yeah, they do. They do? Oh, they're right there. That's, those are look, look different from the one. Well, there's more of them. Yeah, those. Those. Um, what's this? Costilla de puerco. No, that's not it. Costilla de puerco is that one. I like one of these. I think this is birria. I think. Or carnitas. This is carnita? Um, I'm not sure. No, carnitas is that. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Shredded carnitas. Um, pork, pork meat, meat, things I can't eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, they're healthy. We have beans. We have um, regular beans and we have um, fried beans. Really good. Um, Mexican rice. Oh my god, we have tinga! They have tinga. <laughs> it's like shredded beef and marinated in like this red sauce and they put it on top of a chicharron. Oh my god. <laughs> um, fresh hot nopales. Um, I think this is... What is this? This... Chicharron. This is chicharron in chile verde. This one right here... This is chicharron in, in, verde, in like uh, green sauce, chicharron in red sauce. Oh, and then right here, finally, is the biggest pieces of deep fried pig skin, which is called chicharron. They're huge. Right here. And we break it. We just eat it like a chip. Literally. Yeah, Fanta. <laughs> Coke. Oh, this shit. Take into consideration that this makes me sad. Mexican style taco. First of all, guys, I'm gonna explain to you. We do not put cheese on our tacos. No. The most we put is salsa. Maybe guac. But not cheese. That is not a taco. Alright guys, that is it for today. We got all our stuff right over here. We're done shopping. I'm done showing you. If you want any other um, like market or to do a vlog with any other market that Latinos shop at, be sure to leave a comment in the in like the right below. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Um, and I'll leave a link to the website of Northgate or um, so you can find a Northgate near you if you ever come and visit LA or if you're in LA already. Um, down below in the description box. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.